Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mom Q&A with Mamas Uncut, where we answer your anonymous questions about parenting, motherhood, and relationships. Again, we have Lisa and Mindy with us. Hey guys. Hey. Are you ready to give some advice? As always. All right. Everyone wants our opinions. (laughs) (laughs) Let's get to it. Hi, I can use some help. My mother-in-law started dating within four months of my father-in-law passing. She met someone online and we all like him. He is a very sweet man and he has made many trips here to Arizona to visit her. He gifts her weekly with flowers, chocolates, and other cute things as a way to try and make up for the distance. When she first announced that they were dating, we all warned her that long distance relationships could be hard. But my mother-in-law just got very angry at all of us and told her, told us not to belittle her and that she knows what she's getting into. So we all left it at that. It's been now like nine to 10 months and they have been dating that whole time and they are now engaged. But she just dropped a bombshell on us all last night that she's been going to the bars and is out with other men because she's so frustrated with the distance. So she's just justifying that it isn't cheating. She insists that she loves her boyfriend and that he is her chapter two, but it's acceptable for her to cheat because he lives so far away. We are hurt because we all really like her boyfriend and we aren't sure if we should tell him the truth or leave it be because she is an alcoholic and anytime she gets very drunk, which is daily, she posts everything online. So we know he will see her posts about it eventually. Any ideas or advice is appreciated. (laughs) This is one of those things. I feel like it's not her place to say anything. I just, I think that they're both old enough. They're both older, obviously. Just let them work out their thing. And I mean, what's, is she going out? And I don't know. There's not a lot of information on what, what the cheating is or anything it's just one of those things. Like if you get involved with that, you're going to get involved with more than you want to handle. You're going to damage your relationship with your mother-in-law. I just, I kind of feel like it's one of those moments where you just have to let, you have to, there's a point in your life where you realize that your parents are human too, and they're going to make mistakes and that's fine. And they're continuing to learn and grow as individuals, hopefully. Right. Um, but I don't think there's, I think just let them work out their thing. I think it'll do more damage than not. And I don't think, who's to say he doesn't know what is going on and what's not. I mean, she's not in the relationship. So that's hard to say that he says, oh, go out to the bars, whatever, go have some fun. I'm sorry, you're lonely. I don't know. You just don't really have enough information on what's actually happening in that relationship because you're not part of it. Well, and I also think what is unclear from the question or or from the response is, um, so they're engaged, but there's many states of engagement, right? Like they clearly don't live near each other. So what does Mm -hmm. the end game look like? And if the end game has not been um, talked about or finalized or whatever, it doesn't excuse the cheating, Mm -hmm. but that provides a big um, don't touch sign, right? Like if, if, they're getting married in two months and he's moving to Arizona. I, I, I think maybe it's worth a conversation of like what happens next. Cause the last thing you want is this poor guy to move to Arizona only to find out what's happening. But if all that's still very in flux and, the, and up in the air, I totally agree with you, Mindy. Like they're grown people, let them figure it out on their own. Yeah, I know I do feel bad. If he doesn't know, then yeah, of course I feel bad for this guy in Arizona. Hi, Arizona person. <laughs> That's where I am. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I feel weird about um, getting too involved with your adult parents dating life. And I've been there. My dad dated for a while after my mom passed away and it's awkward and weird and you kind of want to insert yourself into things, but it just, it's not your, it's not your thing at the end of the day. Yeah. They'll make their choices and it'll all end up being okay. Yep. Yeah, I agree with that. I tend to be someone who just would rather not be involved. Like it just, I have other places to expend my energy. Like I don't need to worry about you. Um, But I, 
we'll also take like another approach. Okay. So depending on your relationship with your mother-in-law, if you're not worried about having a bad relationship with her, like if you feel more connected to this man and you just really think that he needs to know, I think you need to first come to terms with yourself that if you go to this man and let him know that he's being cheated on, your relationship with your mother-in-law is dead in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, but I think the bigger issue is the drinking, right? Like it's if, true. Yeah. He is really drinking daily and in meaningful amounts. I mean, that, that, that issue so surpasses her going out with guys. Yeah. yeah. You're so, totally right. I thought had that thought too. That, that impacts every facet of, of her life, of his life with her, of their life with her. Like, it, it's just so profound. Like the, the, and if he doesn't know about the drinking thing, like that's, that's a, you know, that for him to marry her and, and not know that, I think that's, that's a much tougher thing to get through. Yeah. It's also interesting too, that if they are engaged, you would think that they had talked about either him moving there or her her moving there. Like you're not going to have a long distance marriage, at least I've never heard of that before, but, um, you would think that if that conversation happened, she would stop doing this because clearly there's an end to the distance, right? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really sound like that, does it? Yeah. It sounds like it's not firm. Like it sounds like everything's still pretty fluid, Mm -hmm. which you would hope that they get to the step that maybe they get to know each other better. And maybe he gets clued into these problems before they even get married. Right. Yeah. If he's not already clued in. Yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to send us your anonymous questions and we'll be back next week.